Let's figure out why only one record is being uh, saved. It's probably due to a query or something. So what I would do is, because we know that, um, because there's only one record being added here. So let's check the cells add new. Okay, right here. So what we're going to do is we know there's an Ajax uh, request happening here. So all we need to do is let's view the developer tools. Okay. And then let's go to the console. All right. So console is here. Let's click, click, click. And actually, before we do that, because we're sending Ajax information, let me go to the home page, the view home page here because that's where we are doing all this and there's a handle result function here where is that handle resort the where is this come on come on come on come on wow there's quite a number okay so let's do the console.log let's unmute it so that we can uh, see what's going on now we have to refresh the page of course for things to work so click on my point of sale again and so now it's loading information, which is good. Uh, let's clear the console for now. I'll click these guys like this. And then I'm going to check out and see what happens. Yes. So we're checking out on, let's put an amount that's enough. Okay, pretty good. Now let's look at the console. That's all we are interested in. So look at this, there's a fatal error. So this is what's causing the problem because if I go to my ajax.php, if I come here, there's search, right? And then, oh yes, yes, yes. Keep in mind that this doesn't work in SQL. So let's change that to all. We can keep it like that because all works even in, um, uh, what's this? in MySQL, so that's fine, it works for both. So keep in mind that when you are uh, going to use SQLite, avoid using these and percents and double pipes like this. So use the or or use the and. So in this case, it's or. Okay, so we're looking at the checkout. Mm -hmm. So this is what happens when we check out. These queries look fine. But then there's a loop here. Where's the loop? Right there. So I'm sure it's failing to loop many times because there's an error and then the loop exits. So probably in one of these. And so when we are checking for this, we should keep in mind that this is what we're looking at. So fatal error, it says there's a general error in the query near, okay, so there's an and quote here there's a quotation near limit. Mm -hmm. Syntax error. On line 36 in database, but that's not really where the error is. It's coming from our, um, if you look at the stack trace here, it's showing us that it comes from controllers Ajax on line 87. So let's check that. 87, where are we? Right here. So this is the query with the problem. They're saying update product set views is going to be where, blah, blah, blah. and then it says limit, limit, really? Wow, I didn't know this. <laughs> Let's just confirm this because this is weird. Let me click here, get back my SQLite database for testing. Mm -hmm. I just want to find out if limit is really oh, what's going on. Oh, maybe because the the thing is open. Yeah, yeah. Ah, shikes. Okay, maybe I should close this. Oh, it's open again in another version. Okay, good, good. That's why it's giving it. So let's look at this. Let's say select all from users. Mm -hmm. Let's run that. Okay, that works. Let's say limit one. Does that cause a problem? 
No, it is not. So I was going to be surprised that limit is a problem. So if that's not the problem, then what is? It says general error near a limit. Ah, wait, what is it talking about? So this and quote is just a quotation. It's and quote and then semicolon. This is all representing a double quote. So that's a double quote and this is a double quote here. So it says near limit. So near limit means just before limit. So is it this with a problem? I wonder. No, it can't be because here it manages to insert this data just fine with these because they work with PDO. So where ID update products it views is equal to views plus one. Okay, let's try this query. Um, let me go copy here. Let's try this query right about here. Let's do this. Let's use ID is equal to one like this. And let's try and run this query here. Okay, so there's a problem. It says near limit. Why? What's happening here? So what if I remove limit? What happens? It runs. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I see where the problem is. I guess limit is not welcome when you're using the update. Uh, hmm, okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so let's undo that. So let's remove the limit here. It's a small price to pay. Okay. And let's see if it runs now. Okay. So let's see what the window is. Close that window, close that window. Let's minimize these guys. Let's try again. So let's check how many items are in the cells. There's one to four. So let's see if we can add more than one. So let's add two items here. There's four there. And let's see what we get now. Okay, that seems to work. And let's go to the admin. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it didn't work, did it? Uh, things are still running, I guess. Oh, goody. Alrighty then. And view count. What's happening? Query. It seems it's still looping. We've created an infinite loop of some kind. Yeah. Okay, let me close this. Hmm. Let's open it again. Wow. This is uh, turning into a nightmare. Let's go to the admin section. Let's go to sales. Okay, let's go to the, what are we incrementing here? Set views on products. Let's see what the view count is. Okay, so it doesn't even show the view count here. What I will do is I will close this. And then uh, open it one more time from this side just to see what data has been saved what happened to the view count and desktop there we go ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. oh my goodness let me close my Wi-Fi here it's causing me a headache or is it no it's not <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so here, uh, if I browse the data, let me go to products, yes. Where is the view count? Uh, 
doesn't look so bad at all. No, nope, it doesn't. What was that item? Um, cells. It was almost. It didn't even save anything here this time. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like the update function here is the problem. So I think where the issue is, is this views plus one. So I think what we are supposed to do maybe, um, no, but we tried this and it actually worked. So I don't know what the problem is. Let me try this one more time. I'm going to remove these guys, save. And let's try to run this. Add me. One, two. Check out. 100. And next. Okay. Cancel. Close. There we go. I think it has worked this time. Let's go to sales. And yes, receipt number five. It has added two items. So it's working. So the only problem is this query right here. So I th I'm thinking this views plus one is the problem. So the way you can solve this problem is just to read from the database first and then add a new value. So let's do that really quickly because we have wasted quite an amount of time already. Okay. So what I want to do is, <clears throat> this is DB query. So I'm going to say update, instead of updating this, uh, I'm going to say select all from products, okay? Where, let's use that where clause, where ID is equal to whatever ID we are dealing with right now. So let's leave that. And then once we get that ID, we have a row. So here I'm going to say, um, I don't know what we'll call this. We'll call this check, is it? We've already used check there. And uh, we'll just call it a row like that for lack of a better word. Okay, so if we get a result, let's do an if here and say if result. Okay, now in here, let's update using this result we have because now we have an actual number from a row so we'll say number uh, views is equal to uh, a row zero because it's the first result we got and then that's a row um, how do we even read things from let's check here check this is an array okay so we get results as an array so this is going to be like this check zero a row and then views okay so that's currently the number that we have now we want to add a plus one so views is equal to that whatever is in here plus one then now I can update using this. So say update this, set views is equal to, and then I'll just add views there, like so, which is whatever number is here, where id is equal to id and leave that as it is. So let's do a quick test of this one and see if that actually solves the problem. And let's check out. Let's put 50 there. Okay, seems to have worked. Okay, great. Let's go to the admin cells. All right, so you see two records here, six, six. So it has worked, we've solved the problem. So the only real problems here were that we were saying views is equal to views plus one because that works well in MySQL, but it doesn't work well in SQLite. So by sorting these problems out on the queries, you learn to understand how things work in SQLite, but don't work, or how they work in MySQL, but don't work in SQLite. And that way, if you know that eventually you're going to migrate your project to an SQLite version, you will learn to avoid those problems so that the transition is much smoother than this, okay? So don't use those things, don't use the date functions, and uh, 
I think that's pretty much it. The date functions and this issue of incrementing by just putting a column name plus one, that doesn't seem to work at all. And then you don't, you can't use those and uh, the ampersands and the pipes for O and and, you have to use them like this. All right, so I hope you have learned something here and in case you encounter a query that doesn't seem to perform well, you know how to get around it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.